Skyway Technologies company, a společnost, kterou reprezentuje. Nech se páči. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, the organizers of the conference for the possibility to share the vision of our company, the technology that is developed by us, and the ideas that we gathered from the very interesting exhibition that took place in Berlin in Trans 2016. Uh, and I would like to start uh, my speech with the words of Alexander Dobrindt, uh, German Minister of Transport, which he said at the opening event, uh, of inner trends in Berlin. Digital age has already created all the conditions to create the new mobility, but such purely physical processes as the speed of obtaining permits, the regulatory system for railway transport, construction deadlines, the constant need for investment in the aging infrastructure do not allow the society to receive the fruits of the digital age in such a cornerstone field as a transportation. There is a great gap between the things that customers require and the things that railway operators and manufacturers of railway technologies offer to them. One of the most discussed topics among hundreds of exhibitors and thousands of specialists, engineers and managers of the transportation field was an ongoing process of digitalization and global change of a transportation industry. They called it a mobility for zero. I try to unite all the proposed views on the subject in a wide definition. Uh, mobility for zero is a fundamental change in the industry of passenger and cargo transportation, which will take place within the next 10 years, considering the current development rates of the automated rail, road and air transport. New approaches to engineering, to the composite materials and integration of different transport systems into a single network which will create a digitalized transit corridor for every passenger or product. We are that corridor the most optimal transportation road in terms of time, distance, energy consumption and other concurrent factors will be provided. Um, one of the key roles in mobility for zero plays smart technologies. Solutions that allow direct data exchange for V2V, vehicles to vehicles, V2WS, vehicle to waste structure and V2I vehicle to infrastructure, thus helping reduce traffic accidents and pollution drastically. Processing of such data makes transportation of people, goods, more predictable and optimized. Uh, a vehicle, or rather we can call it now a device that is used for transportation, will in fact become the so-called third place, additional important place in people's lives apart from their houses and the offices. In Mobility 4.0 era, transportation is integrated into the environment and evolves from the time-consuming and exhausting activity which is necessary for transportation from point A to point B into a new productive window. The most developed existing transportation networks uh, are railroads and automobile roads. Each of them has their own trends and technologies giving them the opportunity to evolve into a full-scale transport system capable of meeting the challenges of Mobility 4.0. During the inner trance, I tried to outline a very informative speech uh, of the president of Deutsche Bahn, head of one of the most developed railroad networks in the world, where he described the work over the processes in the company for the purpose of the improvement. His main themes were active digitalization for the purpose of the technologies for internal processes, escalators with sensors, lighting systems, turnout switches, new business models and ecosystems based on the analysis of big data. He mentioned that the uh, railway does not do anything with big data and uh, Google earns billions on such things. All these factors allow to turn the process of traveling into a third place, appropriate both for creation and work. He also mentioned that automobile transport in Europe is encouraged and becomes cheaper compared to the railway due to the increased fees. A number of grant schemes for railway are decreased, whereas taxes and harmful emissions are set higher compared to the automobile transport. In order to successfully compare, compete with motor transport, it is needed to offer the level of comfort uh, comparable to that of the air transportation, to, <clears throat> uh, to provide simplified certification, effective expenditure control when delivering projects, to form an effective system of collection of analysis of big data, as well as the integration into a single network, digitalization. 
the automobile transport, which is now confronted with the railway industry in Europe, is undergoing a powerful boom in the area of control automation, both in passenger and cargo transportation. 63% uh, of Silicon Valley startups are engaged in the, uh, the research in the field of mobility, giving the automobile industry a chance to claim leadership in the new era, era of transportation. Uh, however, self-driving vehicles possess a range of significant disadvantages. First of all, still a car. Uh, it, uh, and the main disadvantage here is the movement of a car in the same plane with the people which provokes 1.5 million traffic-related human deaths and millions of injuries per year. Technology companies and auto manufacturers who invest in self-contained means of transportation put a stake on that sudden future when roads will fully consist of driverless cars, thus decreasing pollution, traffic jams and, most important, traffic accidents. Uh, however, the coming of this future will be a gradual process. A self-driving car uh, have to somehow deal with the chaotic nature of human driving. So a great problem for self-driving cars still exists, the interaction with other human drivers on the road. Uh, the logic of car movement itself makes it impossible to turn an automobile into a comprehensive mobile office or a lounge area. Car crash tests are designed for a person uh, seated vertically and fastened with a seatbelt. Relaxation in a horizontal position or availability of uh, objects in front of the face such as a laptop or a cell phone, uh, diminish the chances of survival greatly in case of uh, air crash and actuation. Another great danger yet to be explored is the possible of hijacking of a driverless cars and their usage for terrorist attacks. Recent disastrous attacks in Nice or Berlin show that cars can be used by terrorists and the mass implementation of a self-driving technology can boost this matter widely. Speaking about what can be the missing link that is free of the disadvantages inherent in the automobile and railway transport and will form a basis for a comprehensive introduction of mobility 040 into people's lives, we can uh, identify a number of must-have traits. traits. First one is a movement at different levels with the pedestrians. Efficient solutions for the first and the last mile problem. Optimal transportation for both passenger and cargo. Safe, clean, fast-mounted, cost-effective, designed for all weather conditions. Possibility to, use, possibility to use the travel time for work or relaxation. Uh, new transportation solutions, for example, like Skyway, that is being developed by our company, are possible successors of the second-level transport. Why is it any better? And first of all, why is it possible? Uh, it includes all the above-mentioned traits. Uh, new research and technologies for the materials and construction reduce the cost of the structures, their why and material consumption. Availability to, of uh, V2I, V2V, V2WS systems that allow private vehicles or transportation pods to interact with transport lines, infrastructure and each other. Specially designed infrastructure gives the, the possibility of creating a network for uh, transport services connecting high-speed travel, intercity travel, last-mile travel in one digital corridor. I would like to uh, show a video of uh, technology that's being researched now in Belarus. <laughs> So we implemented, we started the tests in November 2016, last year. Uh, the transportation board uh, has the possibility now to reach the speed uh, 70 km per hour with the possibility to reach speed up to 150 km per hour. This is the solution for recreational areas or, for example, to connect city with the airport. In the conclusion, what I want to say, uh, the trend uh, for new transport solutions persists and grows. It is primarily motivated by the fact that the transport created in the 19th, 20th centuries fails to meet the challenges of the digital age. Information is transferred within seconds. Its search and analysis have been maximally simplified. Money are transferred within minutes. Various uh, financial technologies are already drastically changing the financial industry. However, cargo and passengers are still transported on the same principles, at the same speeds, and with the same level of comfort as in the 20th century. 
automobile and railway transport do not meet all the requirements of the new digital airport. Therefore, it is necessary to study and apply new transport solutions not only due to the current situation, but also with a view to the coming era of a completely different approach to the mobility of a person, the main user of a transport service, the mobility era for zero. Thank you very much.